Ever since I started traveling and documenting my adventures, a solo trip to Europe has been a dream. And today, as I take this flight from Delhi to Frankfurt and further to Berlin, I am one step closer to realizing it. This has to be the biggest solo trip that I'm doing. One month in Europe. Get lost. To get lost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and probably find yourself. <laughs> Welcome to Berlin, Germany. I arrived here just yesterday. And Kalka Dinta Chala Gaya just to figure out the public transport here. And I mean, it takes a while for you to figure it out, but once you do, it's a breeze. <laughs> but which dream worth realizing has ever come without its own share of difficulties? Honestly, the day did not really end on the best note yesterday. I just could not figure out the same situation. There are apparently two, three networks which work the best here all over Europe, which are O2, Vodafone, Telecom. And I got this network, but uh, Aldi Talk because none of the other sims were available at the stores. So I got this Aldi Talk ka sim, and I had to do the registration all by myself. And I spent I think two three hours trying to figure that out. Took help from some locals, but nayo paya. So today I'm visiting this post um, office where apparently I can get this done physically. in the hostel when I was having breakfast. By the way, great breakfast in the hostel. Uh, anyway, that's not the point. I met this lady from United States. We were just chatting and, you know, she just said that you're really, really brave to do this trip alone. We are finding it so hard, figuring everything out, even two people. And that really did make my day, you know. It's not, it's not the fact that you hear it from someone or you hear good words for yourself. It's just assurance that Okay, the self-doubts that you were having would probably be baseless and something that you're doing effortlessly is something that other people might not be able to even do. So, anyway, just just a small life lesson for this video, in the, just in the beginning of this video that you're doing well enough. Good, please give yourself some credit for that. Okay, I made it to the post bank. Fingers crossed. It's a regret there. Yeah, okay. So we're one step closer to getting the sim activated. Um, so with whatever the shop could help me, they did. Apparently now I'll receive a mail and then it'll get activated and I have to wait today to get that sorted. second life lesson I learned today was that just when you think you're lost, you end up being exactly where you're supposed to be. Because walking aimlessly without internet did not seem as bad when I randomly met a fellow solo traveller. Sorry, I didn't ask your name. Yvonne. Yvonne. I'm Visha. Visha. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you as well. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Turns out there are so many common points like we both did not really have any concrete plans for today and turns out we stay in the same hostel <laughs> which is amazing it's always so good as a solo traveler to meet other solo travelers and travel with them so yeah we're heading towards the gate together now all right so right behind me is the iconic tourist attraction in berlin the brandenburg gate and uh, it was just a walking distance from where i was and uh, so apparently the statue that you see on top of it picks goddess of peace and there's this whole um, story behind it of how the statue was shifted from France and a lot of things to know about this place yet but I'll tell you one interesting thing that I just got to know from Yvonne. Right opposite to Brandenburg Gate is this hotel called Hotel Adlon and apparently it's the most expensive hotel in all over Berlin and can you guess the price of a room here per night? It's 20,000 euro. 
it it was just crazy and i'm right now so curious to know for myself why how of course i'm not going to go stay there but uh, yeah that's just some information for you let's go to the gate find out more about this place and from here i'll just go to more places that are at walking distance from here so that you will be able to prepare a night night for yourself and you're in berlin as well let's go now at the parliament house the right stack building over here it was just at a 5 minute walk from brandenburg gate and the interesting thing is that right behind it is a dome called right stack dome and from that dome it's a glass dome looks really really spectacular from here and from that dome even more spectacular is the view of the city that you get the view of the lot of tourist attractions that you get but the catch is that you have to book the tickets of this dome way in advance so because this I couldn't do that and I did not have this information you have to I think book like a month in advance I hope you're watching this video when you're planning your Germany trip a few months or a few weeks in advance so make sure you do that and it's just a surreal feeling to be here at this time of the year like it's autumn and the leaves are turning yellow and it's just beautiful to walk around and just opposite to the building is this huge park where i see a lot of people a lot of locals apparently sitting and enjoying with their dogs with their families and it's it's lovely it's lovely to sit here i think if you have some time maybe just have a little picnic over here like you can see behind me and everywhere i'm visiting today at least i'm walking which is great everything is at a walking distance let's see where i go from here i think we're going to head to holocaust memorial which is also very close and then i'm very very excited to go to this place called tier garden i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly till now but we'll find on the way you know before coming here i was getting a little bit worried about how i'm going to click pictures of myself or just randomly film myself because that's work and it's been a long time that i have traveled solo for this long and it's the first time that i'm traveling solo this far and that is all the nervousness that i was getting but honestly with the kind of tripod i'm using and the kind of setup i'm using it's been a breeze and it's been super simple and i'm going to share some tips on that soon as well I feel like every time you visit a tourist attraction along with seeing the place for what it is you should also just sit and observe the people around not just tourists but locals and observe what that city stands for or what that how that city lives and that here has been such a fun experience and as we are walking from the right stack building to the holocaust memorial which is again at a walking distance there is such a pleasant sight to see right over here this is spree river and that's another parliament building over here and there's a bridge so it's just really really beautiful to look at and uh, people are sitting around here just enjoying the breeze <laughs> before you break you got battles to take on but you figure it out yeah you fall and you break you got changes to make now okay what's the motto of solo traveling get lost to get lost <laughs> yes <laughs> and probably find yourself <laughs> now at the holocaust memorial one thing i really like about this place is uh, how all of these stones are of different sizes different dimensions kind of depicting how we all as humans are so different and uh, this has been kind of kept open to interpretations so a lot of interpretations can be made but i think this is a really really cool one for this place when you're inside it feels like you're walking in a maze Excuse me. Hi, are you from here? Yes. Uh, can you recommend me a good restaurant for having currywurst nearby if you know? Okay, 
you won't get any really good restaurant here. It's just no? like the most touristic place. Everything is really expensive and okay-ish, okay. I would say. Okay. So if you want a really good restaurant yeah. for curry Car rolls, there's one place that is really famous in Germany, in Berlin. So it is called Curry 36. Uh, yeah, maybe you've heard of it, probably. Yeah, I've heard yeah it is. It is not the best place, but it's easy to find and pretty good. So okay. I can recommend. Do they have this vegetarian one. options? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm actually, actually, I'm absolutely positive they have. Oh, thank okay. You so much. No worries. Thanks for the help. There's this place called Curry 36, which is quite far from where we are now. So we are parking that for dinner. And uh, now we're craving some good Italian food for lunch. And uh, it's really great that Germany is huge on vegan culture. So you can easily find vegan, vegetarian options over here, which is amazing for me. So uh, we're going to find a place where we can get good pizza, pasta. Let's see what we end up finding. We are near the Mall of Berlin and this area is pretty famous. A uh, lot of tourists and locals I can see because it's a Saturday. So let's see where we end up going. So we were looking for a good Italian restaurant and I'm so glad to have stumbled upon this one which is called Vapiano. It's it seems like a seems like a very very popular Italian uh, restaurant over here. I can see so many locals eating from here. There's a very um, there are machines from where you can just order yourself and whatever you get that starts to beep and then you can collect your order. So pretty simple and the food is great, the pasta is great. I ordered a, a pomodoro, a red sauce pasta. So yeah. Acha pasta mil gaya yaar. Aur kya chahiye? You know, when I had dreamt of my um, Europe trip, one of the images I had in mind was just me having red sauce pasta on the streets of Europe. And I'm glad it's getting fulfilled here in Germany with a really good bowl of pasta. How are you liking Berlin till now? How did you like Berlin today? It's awesome. I mean, the weather is better than yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday it was drizzling a little bit. So October can get tricky. I mean, during the day you need half sleeves and then as there is like in the evening and early mornings you definitely need like a jacket. Anyway, we've come to this beautiful garden called Tiergarten and uh, just walking around here is the thing to do here, is such an experience. And um, we got a lot of pictures clicked right now because it's almost fall, it is fall and the colours are even more beautiful and uh, we're heading to a place from where we can probably watch the changing hues in the sky so yeah and this place is so green so beautiful what's in there that's a video uh -huh. so beautiful so calming to be here especially in the evening. Travel tip Europe, something you probably already know, but wear super, super comfortable shoes here. You have to walk a lot. Oh, did I tell you that my SIM finally started working? It got activated and I'm so happy about it, genuinely. Um, without internet, ke life imagine not possible, man. I was just asking people for directions, taking help from people and today I randomly met another solo traveller so I was just very happy, lucky that way. But yeah, we have internet now. So, after having two very important things in today's day and age, internet and good food. Yes, the currywurst was delicious and I recommend you should also try this very loved German street food delicacy when you are here. We called it a day. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you from the next day when we explore Berlin like a local.